So the best type of polyurospotic coating is one that will give you the fast drying time but is also easy to work with. Something like our Chem 1000 which is a fast drying polyurospotic coating that can be applied up to uh, 30 mils thick uh, but it also can be used at low temperatures and high temperatures. Uh, this product is low odor and has good chemical resistance and comes with a number of color options including being able to add metallic colors or solid pigments or we can even pigment it in the factory. Polyaspartic coating is one that dries very fast, much faster than an epoxy or a polyurethane. And we're using them in situations where we want quick turnaround, we need to get that floor space back into service quickly, or where we're dealing with cold temperatures. Something like our Chem 1000 polyaspartic, that is a product that dries in 60 to 80 minutes. We can use it in temperature range from ideally 0 degrees centigrade or 32 degrees Fahrenheit right up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very fast drying but still has great application properties. Chem 1000 is a two-part fast drying polyaspartic coating. This allows the product to be applied at low temperatures or in situations where you want a fast turnaround. Uh, it's uh, high solids, uh, low odor, so there's no hazard associated with it. It has uh, excellent chemical resistance and it comes in a clear formula or in a pigmented formula. So we can use it as a base coat or a top coat and we can add color to it if we want to or broadcast flakes or color quartz into the coating. So polyaspartic coatings are developed or formulated to be fast drying coatings that uh, allow a quick return to service or allow you to use them in cold temperatures. So they're typically two part products that you mix together and then you have to spread them out with a squeegee or a roller. You can use them as a base coat with uh, chips uh, or quartz. Uh, you can use them as standalone coatings uh, with a color pigment in them or as a clear coating. Uh, the Chem 1000 is a two part polyaspartic that is high build, has zero uh, or virtually zero odor and is uh, easy to use and gives you good physical and color properties. So why is Chem 1000 better than other polyaspartic coatings? Really it's around its application properties. It's a very fast drying coating but it gives you good working time. Uh, you've got you know 15 plus minutes to work with it as opposed to five or ten minutes that you get with these other polyaspartics. And we have that extended working time without adding extra solvent. So we don't have the odor issues, uh, the hazardous issues that you have with these very highly solvented polyaspartics. Uh, the product has good chemical resistance and we can actually apply it uh, thicker than most standard polyaspartics. We can get up to 30 mils thick as opposed to the 10 or 15 mils thick that you get with standard polyaspartics. This gives us a good base on which to broadcast flakes, color quartz, and also gives us a good top coat if we want to get a nice smooth level surface. So uh, in terms of application, in terms of uh, thickness, and in terms of performance, we have key advantages over the standard polyaspartics. So when you're using our Chem 1000, you want to make sure that the concrete surface is in good condition, that you are patching any holes or cracks that may show through when you coat it. You also want to make sure uh, not only that the concrete is sound, but it's not, it doesn't have a lot of moisture in it. It needs to be dry surface. 
and uh, it, you want to make sure there's no existing sealers on there that may inhibit the uh, adhesion of the polyaspartic coating. And you can contact our tech service and we can give you tips and tricks on how to test for moisture in the concrete and for existing sealers. So polyaspartic floor coatings are applied usually by squeegee and back rolling. Uh, you want to be able to spread out these floor coatings because they dry quickly. It's important to have good application properties. The uh, Chem 1000 has this extended working time. It is uh, much easier to use than standard polyaspartics and it will dry in about 60 to 80 minutes giving you this fast turnaround, fast return to service, or the ability to apply it at cold temperatures as low as 30 degrees or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So moisture in concrete can cause problems in a polyaspartic coating. The moisture itself can cause the coating to go milky or hazy. It can cause fish eyeing or blistering and actually trapping moisture underneath the coating can lead to eventual delamination or peeling of the polyaspartic coating. So it's important to test for it and then to make sure that you're applying to a dry surface or to use moisture barriers before you apply the coating. So you can test for the presence of a sealer on a concrete floor by doing a simple water test. Uh, sprinkling or pouring a small amount of water onto the surface and seeing whether it will soak in within five minutes. If it stays on the surface, beads on the surface, that's likely an indication that there's a sealer on there. And it's important to sand the surface, to etch the surface, or to grind the surface to remove that sealer before you apply your polyaspartic coating. So there's lots of color options with the Chem 1000 polyaspartic coating. Uh, it can come to you pre-colored as a uh, pigmented coating or straight from the factory, or you can add color pigments to it, solid colors. Uh, we have metallic colors that you can add, give you some nice beautiful color options there or you can broadcast into it vinyl color flakes or color quartz. So many options are available to you to add color to the Chem 1000 polyaspartic coating. Pot life is very important with two-part polyaspartic coatings. Once you mix the product together, the pot life is the amount of time that you have to use the product before it starts to set up and you lose the application properties. So typically with a polyaspartic, it can range from five to about 15 minutes. So you have to be geared up to be able to apply the coating in that uh, period of time. Once you go outside that pot life of 15 minutes, then the product is becomes very thick. Uh, you lose a lot of the chemical and adhesion properties and you compromise the overall success of the coating. So a key characteristic of the polyaspartic coatings is that they are fast drying. That is the principal reason we use them. The Chem 1000 will take about 60 to 80 minutes to dry depending on the uh, temperature and the humidity. Uh, the colder the the temperature, the, the floor, the longer they take to dry, the higher the humidity, the faster they take to dry. So it's very, very important to uh, match the pot life as well as the dry time. So polyaspartic coatings have very good chemical resistance and wear resistance like an epoxy coating. Uh, they're equivalent in that respect, but they have the advantage of being much faster drying 
and also uh, we can use polyaspartics like the Chem 1000 exterior outside without having them yellow or break down due to the weathering. Polyaspartics are tough coatings, they have good UV resistance, good wear and chemical resistance. So a properly applied and maintained polyaspartic coating like the Chem 1000 should last at least five years uh, in an interior or exterior application.